after this past weekend, we here in California know just how important our freeways are to help us get around. So we thought it would be fun to send our new guy, a former New Yorker, out to find out how freeways have helped shape our state. Look at this beautiful California scenery, the greenery here. We are, of course, above the 101 freeway. That's what we really know in this town. We know all the freeways. I'm here with the author of Freewaytopia. Paul, what's up, man? Freewaytopia. That's it. Paul, why write a book about freeways here in L.A.? Well, I was always on a quest to figure out, like, how did freeways get here? You know, who, who made the decisions behind how they got built? And so I wanted to explore that. And I thought also, um, you know, this is a great location because the Hollywood Freeway was the first modern freeway in Los Angeles. Wow. That, you know, I know the Arroyo Seco Parkway was first, but this was the first one where you could drive 55 miles an hour and it opened up L.A. to the valley. So What I love about this is your celebration of the history because, you know, I think a lot of us can relate to cursing at the freeway, getting mad in traffic you know we we associate freeway here with kind of being in a rush and being in traffic but there's so much history to really how the construction of these things shape neighborhoods and shape the way we all live right yes and it's really it's difficult to imagine hollywood without a freeway going through it but you know, it would be nice to, to go back in time and see what a place like Boyle Heights or Bunker Hill looked like before freeways went through it. Yeah. And when, you know, when freeways were built by the state and by the city and the, and the federal government, um, they would look at, you know, what what is the path of least resistance to get it done? And yeah. often that path went through the poorer neighborhoods where they knew they would encounter, you know, less political pressure from people to not put a freeway through their neighborhood. Right. And where we're standing is historical, too, because there was a freeway that was going to be built in the 50s here correct that never happened so we're actually over what could have been and what was that freeway paul the beverly hills freeway would have gone right through here okay and this is a really unusual spot it's one of the rare areas in los angeles where you see the the lanes are separated by a giant median and i'd often wondered why that is and that's because this would have been the footprint for a giant interchange probably a four level interchange and the beverly hills freeway would have gone north south through here connecting to the glendale freeway it never happened because it would have gone through Beverly Hills and West Hollywood, and there were enough constituents to push the free out of their neighborhood. And it also would have cost $300 million. Wow. <laughs> now you were showing me, there's a picture in your book, too, of, you know, some old timers back in the day fighting for freeways to not be built. This is an old lady, yeah. this poor old lady back then. <laughs> Yeah. A heart-wrenching photo. Yeah, 83 years old. She lived in Hollywood on a street that no longer exists. It was paved over by the Hollywood Freeway. Wow. And they moved her to another house. Okay. Um, but, you know, she uh, unfortunately had to move at a very old age when you've established all your neighbors and friends. And that's a big life change. And that happened with thousands of residents. This area. When we talk about freeways in this town, too, uh, you know, public transportation, we, you know, trains. There was a picture in the book also of trains, you know, in the middle of the freeway. Which is this one here. Why is it, yeah, look at that. That's so cool. Why is it that, you know, that sort of went away in LA and it's more of a freeway town and uh, most of California? What's up with the history there? Yeah, I mean, there used to be a train that went through the media of the Hollywood Freeway where it goes through Coenga Pass and then it ended around the Hollywood Bowl. Um, so it basically just you had GM and, and different lobbyists who wanted to just run cars instead of streetcars. And so that's what did away with trains. And you didn't see trains along a freeway again until the Century Freeway was built in 1993. Awesome. Now, as we go, guys, there's no better way to promote a book about freeways than taking the book with the author right now to wave it to people driving on the freeway. Come on, Paul. We're going to make sure people check out the book. And also remember, celebrate where you're driving. There's a lot of rich history to how this town was built. Right, Paul? That's right. Thanks, man. Guys, Freeway Topia Town now i'm not gonna throw it please don't. Hey. Uh, i was gonna say don't throw it i'll take it paul that's really interesting stuff all right thank you so much paul and paul